hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello welcome to my channel and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for always tuning into my channel so today's video is going to be all about how I achieved this beautiful curls on my 4C hair and it is called Bentu Knots Out so actually this is my very first time of making this hairstyle and so far so good I am loving the results that I got from this hairstyle so if you'd like to see how I achieved this gorgeous hairstyle then keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already just click on that subscribe button down below give this video a big thumbs up if you find it helpful and I will see you all in my next video so I washed and deep conditioned my hair yesterday and um, then I put it into this chunky braid so that it can help to stretch out the hair a little bit before I go for this style because I want to do this on a dry hair I don't want to do it on a soaking wet hair so that it can dry quickly right now I don't have any products in my hair the only product I have in this hair is just my castor oil I used it around my edges and then I massaged some of it into my scalp I'm going to lose all these braids and then I will show you what next to do now that I'm done losing the hair the next thing is to show you the things I'll use to make this stuff water a leave-in conditioner any leave-in conditioner of your choice will do but I'm using my carrot oil leave-in conditioner any cream of your choice or oil to seal in the moisture I'm going to be using my whipped shea butter as always and finally some gel and I'm using my eco styler gel so let's get started now take a small amount of hair and spray it with some water just a little bit of water we are not trying to wet the hair remember then apply your leave-in conditioner um, make sure you are working everything into the hair thoroughly before you apply the next product next is to apply the whipped shea butter you can use raw shea butter or any curl enhancing cream of your choice and then apply a very little amount of gel again make sure you are getting to the tip of your hair because that place dries up quickly and make sure you are taking a very small amount of hair because the smaller the hair the better the results you get so yeah detangle the hair thoroughly and then um twist the roots just like halfway through just do a normal two strand twist and then detangle it one more time and begin to twirl the hair around your finger now once you get to the tip of your hair make a loop giving one inch gap from the roots of your hair and then begin to wrap it around the hair i don't know if that makes sense i don't know if you understood what i did there or you can just rewind the video and watch it again it is not um that much hard to make then i'll use a bobby pin to secure it in place you know like i said this is actually my first time of making this hairstyle so i was scared that the hair might lose when i'm sleeping or doing something else so that was why i used some bobby pins to secure the hair in place now i'm going to finish up with the rest of the hair so as you can see i already did most of the hair off camera <laughs> and that is because i don't want to bore you guys with me trying to um do the bantu knots on my hair i like let me tell you i did this for like several times before i could get it right i do the bantu knots i lose it i do again i lose it. it took me like three to four times before i could get it right so i decided to do most of the hair off camera before i could now come up and show you how to do it so i don't bore you guys with too many clips of me trying to do the bantu knots so after i'm done with the whole of my hair i'm going to use a little bit of gel to lay down my edges 
that are flying all over the place so after I'm done this is the whole of my hair all done and now I'm going to lay down the edges even more using a certain scarf to tie it down so that it can lay properly and then I'll use a bonnet to cover it and I'll go to bed so this is me the next day so basically you are supposed to allow the hair to dry up completely like 100% dried um actually my own didn't dry like 100% I would say like 95% dry so um you want to make sure that your hair is 100% dry before you take it down now take off the bobby pins apply some oil in your palm and begin to unravel the hair it's just like opening a bottle cover yeah that's how you unravel the hair can you see how easy it is to take down the hair and can you see those curls <laughs> yeah that's what we are going for right okay once you are done um on twisting the bantu knots you are going to start on twisting the twist i hope that makes sense <laughs> so when you are doing this make sure you take your time don't rush it so that you don't cause too much freeze in your hair just take your time and do it gently now it is time to separate the hair and as you can see once i separate the hair i use my finger to to coil it a little bit so that the curls can stay intact i don't know if you can see what i'm doing there just slide your hand through the hair and separate separate the hair where it naturally separates and then use um, one of your finger to you know finger coil it and after that um if you like you can now fluff out the hair using your afro peak comb but i didn't want to <laughs> fluff it because i don't want to lose the the definition i got you know i just want them to still be intact so that was why i didn't pick the root with the afro comb so the next thing is to spray some oil to give it more shine now you can shape the hair whichever way you want you can style it anyhow you want and that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't subscribed already i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching god bless you all bye